Hi, and welcome to a new Fantasy Grounds Unity series that is going to introduce and explain the options used for specific campaigns in a series of videos. As I have stated before, there are three types of settings. Those that configure the application, those that configure your campaign itself and how it will be accessed by players, and finally, what features are enabled within Fantasy Grounds while a campaign is running. This series will contain multiple short videos, including this introduction and potentially a conclusion video, that only focus on the options that exist once Fantasy Grounds Unity is loaded, and you are in the process of finalizing the various game options, quote unquote, that will be used for that particular campaign. This is the third set of configuration options. Additionally, as I'm using the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition setup, these options are going to be specific to the 5th edition rule sets, and I won't be covering any other rule sets. Although, it is possible that in the future if I ever expand into another rule set, I can do something similar for them as well. We will go over what options affect the player client, as well as go into detail in relation to the GM game, combat, token, and house rules options that are available. Additionally, I will cover the currency, languages, and message of the day buttons as well as the setup window that first loads when you start a new campaign. What this series won't cover will be going through the entire process of setting up the application or campaign specific options, configuring the background, or dealing with token lights as those have already been covered in other series. Once again, the intent is to bring forward updated videos that go over these concepts and break them out from much longer videos that I produced when I first started this channel. I will also be able to more easily adjust these videos in this series as Fantasy Grounds Unity changes over time, thus ensuring I can be a little bit more up to date when it comes to content changes and bring them to you a little sooner than I have been able to in the past. This way, the information you might be looking for is in smaller, more easily consumable videos, and due to a higher level of focus should get you up and running with the last of the final elements you might want to consider configuring for your campaign session. With that, let's move on to the first video in the series.